Uh, okay, let's try a different section of the mansion. Maybe another that will be more forgiving. Oh, is that Daryl? <laughs> no, that's uh, uh, Angelica Houston. She played Morticia in the 90s movies. Huh. Oh. Oh, Christopher Lloyd. Oh. That God. was Christopher Lloyd? Christopher Lloyd was uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was Uncle Fester in the 90s movies. Oh, my God. You don't you don't remember that? I didn't recognize him. Well, now you can't unhear it or unsee it. That That's true. It's just, it's because, like, he's so, like, short and stout looking and like uh, movie magic baby yeah just some stomach padding and constantly like punching over pushing his face in to give himself the double chin yeah no but seriously that does not uh look like Angelica Houston looks more like Daryl Hannah <laughs> I don't know she's, like she's, the head would be she was much more pale Eyebrows aren't right. If that was Daryl Hannah, the corners of her head would be hitting the corners of the picture well, frame. I, I realize that, <laughs> but I think they unintentionally uh, uh, told their own future. Did they tell their own future? Or did they fell their own torture? Excuse me? Yeah, you got it. Ugh. Man. That kid who played Pugsley is probably like 45 now. Maybe. But. It's fine. That Pugsley was just so much better than like the third movie, Pugsley. The th like, nobody is worth writing home about in the third movie except Tim Curry's Gomez, which was probably like a low point for Tim Curry anyway. Really? I mean, nobody remembers it as being amazing. Everybody well, always remembers Raul Julia's. Yeah. But, I mean... And then Daryl Hannah's large head taking up most of the frame in the movie. That was the only other memorable thing. Just got, I mean, maybe you gotta rewatch it to see if like it's worth anything. I'm sure there's something about the plot or the writing that's like okay. Uh, I don't think you're right about that. Oh god! Oh, that and, is a death trap right there. I mean, it is like a bunch of spiky teeth on a a gum cylinder. A gum cylinder. <laughs> it's a cylinder made out of gum. <laughs> you know what you need to uh, traverse it well? What? Gum shoes. Thank you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, look, that, that one's not a gum cylinder. That one's like a enamel cylinder. Like, I, I'm not comfortable with the phrase gum cylinder. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't intending it to be a comfortable phrase. <laughs> but the game did it. It's true. True story. Ah. 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 Is this shooting baby fucking polar bears? I have no idea. Huh. Huh. Hey, thank Wow. I am a master speedrunner. Oh, all right. Of this block. <laughs> As we've established multiple times. Ah! Uh, Spookums! McGee! Why is that the one clock you can't walk through? Oh, really? Yeah. Like, oh. Well, to me. I'm, uh, not a smart human. Uh, Damn it. Uh, oh, God. oh, oh, that's that was lucky. Yeah. Oh, I can't go back down again to get the stuff I missed. That's lame. Oh, God. Shit. Why? Huh? No. All right, all right, uh, Son of a cock.
Well, I don't know if I'm down for a dozen episodes of this. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, I... Would I, you F this game? I mean, yeah, because the aesthetic and everything and, like, the new levels are cool to see, but... It, it, it is just a lot of, like, memorizing tiny little annoying monster things and then redoing them. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason this, like, I think... I think the S the NES version was the first version of this game, and then they oh. they like made other versions for the Genesis and mm -hmm. SNES. So I think it really shows that this was a simple NES game with not a lot of meat on its bones to begin with. Mm -hmm. But at the at the end of the day, it's a relic from my childhood, and I don't I don't outright hate what I've done here today. So mm -hmm. I guess I would fuck this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that tracks. Focus game. <laughs> <laughs>